Oh. <laughs> oh man, the fact that I even have to do a video about this is <laughs> man, it's something else, huh? So I've talked about on my other form of social media how all this craziness has been going on with this uh, talks of the protests and the rioting and all of that, and all the studies had shown that they said, <laughs> of course not, as they right now gripe about the spike, the surge. You know, that's the term they use, surge, the surge. It confirmed Modelo virus cases. They have nothing to do with the protests. <laughs> Because the studies confirmed. It just so happened that the health experts happened to be green lighting all of these protests. Said, oh, it's worth it, of course. None of that social distancing, any of that crap they were talking about. But it was okay. And it had nothing to do with it. That's what the study said. Nothing. It was the bars. That's what did it. The damn, those damn bars. Not the hundreds of thousands of people all across the damn nation linking up in tight knit areas because you know why because the virus is it's woke it was a point in time where the aclu was not a joke of a damn organization what do you even call them these days but they said pride is still protest now why are they saying that because they don't want you giving them crap as they go around parading and stuffs. So it's still a protest. So if it's a protest, you know, the virus, this is how it works. Dr. Strange put some like spell enchantment, right? On the, the protest area. So if you walk through the protest area, that is, you are immune from the virus. It doesn't work anymore. As a matter of fact, what happens is the virus walks up and says, no, 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 we can't go there. And then it just turns around. So if you can just label yourself and what you're doing as a protest, can't be white, though, uh, because you all know if you remember before those people that were linking up protesting the lockdowns and these same cats were like, oh, they were they're, they're They want to kill grandmas. They're, they're advocating for killing grandmas having a right to go kill grandmas and stuff. Those guys don't count. Never mind them. It's when they are attached to some cause of social justice. Then, then it's all good. You ain't got nothing to worry about. It's a pro. It's just a protest, bros. See, if it's a protest, the virus doesn't care. You can't get it. It makes you immune. Shared this, and I told y'all, mother, I told y'all, I told y'all that the, the game's rigged, man. It's a rigged game. This was uh, back in Chicago, a little pride, a little get-together rally, right? There ain't a whole lot of social distancing. But it's a bunch of them in packed areas, and it's fine, guys, because the virus can't get through. It can't, it can't, it can't spread in those tight-knit areas like that. It can't do it. It can't do it, see? Like all those guys that are link up holding signs and doing whatever they're doing, chilling. It's fine, guys. You don't have to worry. The virus does not work at the 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 well, it's a protest, according to ACLU. So it's fine, man. Everything's gonna be fine. It's okay, it's the bars. It's the damn Trump supporters in those damn rallies. That's who it is. It's not these guys linking up by the hundreds and thousands and God, this is a joke man the game's rigged how many times do i gotta tell y'all man it's rigged it's a rigged game they will bend the rules like i said i always told y'all they are using eddie guerrero tactics lie cheat and steal they have the benefit of having the health officials you remember when you had all those cats that were outside of, uh, you know, you had all these, you probably seen the pictures. And had all these cats outside the hospital and they PPE and all of that stuff. Man, I got to get some WD-40 for this damn chair. And they all clapping and stuff. Yes, we support you. God, what the hell y'all doing? Thought y'all was over with. Wait a minute. 
Maybe it's just a rigged game. Maybe, just maybe, the health experts that were green lighting these, whatever you call them, protests, which some of them were, were actual riots. Maybe, just maybe, they aren't without political bias like you like to pretend that they are. Just maybe, maybe, they do have a political slant. Which actually means that when it comes to the policies that they advocate, what they green light, what they accept, what they approve of, it's going to be very telling. Because it makes absolutely no damn sense whatsoever, whatsoever to suggest that there is something that is fine with that, but saying that. Other individuals, even outside, can't do other things. These these crackheads over at Governor Abbott, who I'm going to call him a leftist. He might be have R next to his name. As far as I'm concerned, he's a left. Nonetheless, you got guys like him talking about rafting. You can't even go rafting. You can't go snorkel in a, in, 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 in a lake, man, or whatever. Pool. In the bottle of water or nothing. Because... That's how the virus is spreading. And then at the bottom of his little executive order that he passed, it says a gatherings up to a hundred. And then he makes a little stipulation there or more so a little exception. The local government approves. What does that mean? What, what would he possibly be approving? That has a hundred people. Oh, oh, he's talking about the protest. That's right. Because you can't catch the virus. The virus is too woke for this guys. It's too, it, 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 it's, it's too hip to the social justice. It doesn't care about social distancing. The virus can't possibly spread that way. The social distancing that they tell you that you need to do, it doesn't apply to them at the protest. And that's why the studies confirmed that the surge had nothing to do with the... I don't even know how many pro they were all around the country. Multiple days in a row, people just linking up together, moving around. They had nothing to do with any of that. The surge, it no, no the surge, yes, the surge, but it's not about that. So this is the really real thing. Excuse me, the reality. Either they ain't telling you all they need to be telling you about how dangerous this virus actually is, or they're full of crap. It's one or the other. Because if you've seen videos, you've probably, I mean, some of you guys have friends that have been there. And you look at all of the, what was happening post-George Floyd. And all of this, the, 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 the protest, the linking up people. And not all of them were outside because you had people like storming uh, like city halls and stuff like that being bunched up in there. And they did all of that. All of that. No social distancing, no social distancing. And for whatever reason, it has nothing to do with the surge that they gripe it about. So either again, they're being dramatic, they're lying about it, or maybe they're saying it's dangerous as what they're claiming that it is. One of the two ain't no excuse nonetheless. But on a serious note, what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is when you're dealing with these types of people, definitely because they have... Um, you know, the, these health experts and people that it's like a religion, man. Um, and I, I'm not saying that I'm religious in a sense. Um, I'm not saying that to be anti-religion. I'm saying a lot of what they do is backed by faith. A lot of what people advocate, a lot of what people accept as gospel. If Fauci says it, it's got to be gospel. Never mind. There may be people that are experts in the same in a similar field. Who I like, no, I don't think that's the way to go. Doesn't matter. It's coming from the state and their doctors and their scientists and so forth. That's got to be the righteous thing to do. But if you think that those people aren't politically enabled, a lot of them are economically illiterate. That's not their expertise. But they're politically they have a slant. They have a bias. They're not without. I know science you think would be more objective, but that's not the case. This is why they can say things that don't make sense. How can they 
How in the hell can they lecture you about social distancing and then turn around and say, we stand with these protests? That doesn't make sense. The only way they could do that is if they have bias. And they do. And the quicker y'all fools realize that, the better you'll be able to assess the situation. It's rigged, man. They're not playing by the same rules you are. They get to change them on the fly. They don't apply to them. They apply to you. None of this makes sense. And I know I tongue in cheek, a little sarcasm there. But the reality is, is that it's a friggin' virus. It does not care th- about your social preferences. It doesn't. It has, that's, that's not what it gives a crap about. So either tell us the truth and be forward with it. Is it not as dangerous as you've been claiming? Health officials and experts? Or are you just full of crap? I'd like to know. I really would.